branch babble. Perfect time to start filming when the tree trimmers go to work. I just wanted to do a quick down and dirty on the Madstad screen. I want to do one when I'm riding too to show you about it, but what I wanted you to see is because you really can't tell from any of the still photos I've seen. This is the 18 inch in light smoke. And one of the reasons why I kept going back and forth and back and forth between the Madstad, which everybody said would do exactly what I want, throw the wind over my head. What I didn't like from the photos I'd seen was the look of the screen. I love the uh, KOR dash look and that rally look, but I don't even know if this is gonna come out on film, but this thing looks awesome in real life on this bike. It looks like, I've had several people say, it looks like that's what's supposed to be on there compared to what's on there. But what tipped it in my favor, well, what tipped it in my favor was getting the air up over my head at speed. As you know, I'm not a speed demon. I haven't been riding that long. So I'm getting used to, you know, higher speeds and off-road and the whole nine yards. And uh, that stock screen, when you get up about 70, it feels like you're going 90 because you're just getting beat about the head with the air. Now when I go 70, I feel like I'm going 50. So that was huge. But the other thing is, and hopefully this will let me come around the other side where I'm not facing into the sun. The other thing about this is, if you take one of those little L-shaped, you know the L-shaped drivers that go like this, and there'll be like a Phillips head on this end, and then there'll be a standard on this end. You can go right in here, get right to those two screws, right to the two screws on the other side, slide this out, and slide the stock back in for prolonged summer riding or for going off-road. I mean, literally, I've done it in under a minute, probably 30 seconds. Just loosen those, screw them out, slide it out, slide the other one in. So that's what tripped it for me. And, and the other thing is, I've noticed a lot of people that have the dash, and this, this is not to slam anybody. I'm not slamming anybody, because I love the look of the dash. But I think I want to keep it as clean up there as I can. It's almost like if I have the extra space, I'll, I'll put extra stuff there just to use it, kind of. Does that make sense? I mean, I know me. <laughs> Give me a blank canvas and I'll find something to ram up there. So anyway, that's the Madstad 18 inch light smoke. Tim Two Wheels uh, video on uh, the installation everything. That's really the standard for installation videos. But I went by his recommendations. I'm 6'1". He's like 6'4", but he's still with, with the 18 inch just like him. I have it set up, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but if you see this gap up at the top here, so I've only have, I only have this windshield raised up an inch from its lowest setting, and I have it tilted back on an angle. I'm going to stop tape here for a second and show you the template. So this is the template that comes with the instructions, and it's pretty simple. You just install your screen, you take this edge of the directions and you lay it on the screen and you want that 60 degree arrow pointing straight up. I mean, it literally could not get any easier. Now, here's what the adjustments mean. At this 60 degree optimal angle, let me stick that over there. That means that, uh, the, well, pretty much all the air is going over my head. All the, uh, the buffeting air is going over my head, but I'm, I'm still getting some airflow around uh, my helmet face mask, which is great in the summer because I ride with my visor up with sunglasses and I get a little more air. However, when I first rode it, I rode with this straight up and that literally puts everything over my head which is exactly what I was looking for, not to get buffeted at highway speeds. So it does what I wanted it to do. 
you may be looking for a uh, different results but like I say six one longish torso not real long but you know and Tim two wheels video all along I thought I almost guaranteed that this will do what I wanted to do I don't know for a fact the KLR dash will do what I wanted to do with the double bubble because I've seen five ten people say they still get some buffeting I've seen six three people say it goes right over their head there was a lot of mixed info but this does my primary function was to get the air over my head and do away with that buffeting uh, at speed at interstate speeds and this absolutely does it and I think it looks awesome it's taken a little bit to get used to the light smoke uh, but I can still see through in front of me fine it's taken a little bit get, getting used to hearing my engine now that's really weird but uh, it's also great for vlogging I don't think it interferes you know any in any distracting way from the vlogs and uh, I can vlog now with my face mask open riding at any speed and you can still hear me clearly so for me the Madstad 18 light smoke uh, has worked there you go. Thanks for watching.